Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're seeing two excellent stories, one on space weather in your dreams and another on true magnetic compass of birds with an electric spark. We're also going over the space weather events and forecasts, and I hope you caught our video of the flood last night. We'll be discussing in detail in a video coming in the next few days, but for now, let us start with the last 24 hours on our star where we find small pops and surges. There were far side eruptive activities, but relative calm in the earth facing heliographic longitudes while moderate sized coronal holes are turning in. We've had no significant solar flares, and that is likely to continue with the spots on the disk being small and somewhat lonesome. Should be a quieter space weather week here compared to the last two. In about 10 days though, as these spots are departing, three big ones have the chance to return. They may decay by then, but for now there is a trio of monster spots on the far side. We'll keep monitoring for their return. First article today hits a thesis on space weather and sleep, geomagnetic storms, and dream states. From subtle electrical working of the brain patterns to indirect impacts through body chemistry reactions to the electromagnetic activity, a new field of science is born one which ultimately seeks to pinpoint the ultimate connection between consciousness and the physical forces of the universe. Whoa, watching her career closely. Top story today, they discovered that the magnetic field of Earth creates unique electric currents in the mechanism shape inside of a bird's ear. This revolutionizes the study, circumventing the concept that their cryptochromes in the eye don't appear strong enough. Not a problem anymore. The electric currents of the cosmos directly speak to the neurons inside the bird's head, telling where, when, and how to get there. Not just magnetic sense, electromagnetic sense. And that is a key distinction. Folks, the winter tour begins in just eight days, kicking off in Omaha, Nebraska, second one in San Diego, less than a month away, then Orlando, Dallas, and Las Vegas. Prepping, survival, geared specifically for the pole shift and expected phases of the Earth disaster cycle. Link is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.